Hey guys, it's Pucky Dude. Welcome to another Fake Granddaughter Tips and Trivia video. Since you all really liked my previous Fun Facts video, here's another one. This time we'll be talking about glitches. As with any game that receives regular updates, FGO has had its share of bugs over the years. Some bad, some beneficial, and some just plain cool. Number 1. Some of Kiara's and Romulus Carinus's NP damage in NA. These two servants have complex effects on their noble phantasms that determine how much damage they do. Romulus has worked as intended at his release in NA, but started doing less damage after the Servant Coin update. This went unnoticed by most players until Kiara's release. Hers was lower than it was supposed to be from the start. This was fixed after several days with no explanation from the devs. Basically what happened was that the uh, Servant Coin update changed how their NP damage was calculated, and they forgot to update the NPs to compensate for it. That's a potential risk that always comes with adding new game mechanics earlier than JP did. If you're interested in the tentacle side of how this glitch happened, I've provided a link to a breakdown in the video description. Number 2. Incorrect Summoning Odds If you press the Summon Info button on the summoning page for any banner, you'll see a list of precise odds for everything that can possibly be obtained from that banner. But on extremely rare occasions, these numbers have been inaccurate. To my knowledge, it's only happened twice in NA. Once with the Thanksgiving 2020 banner, and again with the Third Servant Summer Camp banner. For the former, the chances for certain craft essences were lower than they were supposed to be. Specifically, Child of Atlas, Cleaner, and Sakura Special Bento. The devs compensated players by refunding 10% of the quartz they spent on the banner, one copy of each of the affected CEs, and additional copies proportionate to how much they spent on the banner. As for the summer banner, there was one day where Edmund Dantes was incorrectly set to appear half as often as he was meant to. After the bug was discovered, they actually halted all summoning for a brief time before starting maintenance. All players who summoned on the banner that day were given a full refund of all summoning currency, even differentiating between free and paid quartz, in addition to keeping whatever they did summon. Interestingly, both of these banners were NA exclusive with no GP equivalent. Number 3. A rash, self-inflicting death. Yes, you heard that right. Inflicting death on himself was a bug for a while in NA. Not that he's not supposed to die after using his NP. That's entirely intentional. The problem was the exact means that led to his death. Normally, he inflicts a unique status called sacrifice on himself, but there was a period of time where it was mistakenly changed to death. In most circumstances, the end result would be the same, but death has a counter in the form of the death immune buff which can be provided by the likes of Scotty and Nightingale. This allowed him to use his NP multiple times without having to resort to a Guts buff. Overall, a relatively minor bug that could have made for some interesting setups if it had stuck around. Number 4. Item Duplication That's right, one of the most useful exploits in any RPG was actually present in the Japanese version of the game for a brief period. During this time, attempting to pull items from the present box when your inventory was overloaded would cause the items to duplicate. This worked for any item in your present box, including servants obtained via a shop ticket. Now obviously the devs couldn't just let players get thousands of rare prisms like that, so unfortunately they did have to take action against anyone who took advantage of this glitch. Affected players had their accounts frozen for a few weeks while they rolled things back and it's estimated that about 400 accounts who heavily abused the glitch were suspended or banned. So yeah, if a bug like that ever comes up again in the future, maybe think twice before taking advantage of it. Number 5. Persistent NP Field Changes This is one from early in JP's life that almost felt like a feature. Elements from Emiya's and Nero's Noble Phantasms would stick around after their animation ended, remaining on the battlefield until the fight was over. But the regular background elements floated back in too. In some cases it still looked good, but in others, not so much. And of course it was possible to stack these and have unlimited blade works and the Golden Theater at the same time. A Noble Phantasm effect like this wouldn't be intentionally implemented until seven years later with the release of a certain vampire. Personally, I hope we can see more of them in the future. And that's it for this video. Are there any glitches you know of that I didn't cover? Any topic suggestions for future tips and trivia videos? Let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Patreon and Coffee pages. Thanks for watching. See you next time.